meet teacher Joyce and like you she also struggles in mathematics what that was before don't worry teacher Joyce is willing to help you let us start our mathematics video tutorial lesson 3 part 1 read and write numbers in symbols and in words up to hundred thousands and compare them using relational symbols objective read and write numbers up to 100,000 in symbol and in words review on our previous lesson we have learned how to identify the place value and value of digit in number let's have a quick exercises to check if you have mastered our lesson what is the place value of the underlying digit? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. The underlying digit is seven, and its place value is ten thousands. Number two. What is the place value of nine in eighty-five thousand nine hundred twenty-three? Ones, tens hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. The place value of 9 in 85,923 is hundreds. Number 3. Give the value of the underlying digit. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. The underlying digit is 7 and its place value is thousands. So, 7 times 1,000 is 7,000. The value of 7 in 37,318 is 7,000. If you still have questions about identifying the place value and value of a digit in numbers up to 100,000, you can click the provided link on the description box below. If you have mastered the previous lesson, let's now start our discussion. Let's now discuss how to read and write numbers up to 100,000 in symbols and in words. Suppose we have the following number. Do you know how to read and write it in symbol? There is a simple steps you can follow. Step 1. Let's put each digit on the place value chart step two when we write long numbers we separate three digits from its right to left using a comma to simplify reading and writing numbers in this example the first three digit from the right the ones place the tens place and the hundreds place digits belong to units group while the thousands place ten thousands place and hundred thousand place go into the next group of digit which is the thousands group step three to read and write numbers separated by commas we start from the left and read each group as a three-digit number followed by the value of the group so for this number we start from the left and read 8,739 note that we use the singular form so we say 8,000 not 8,000 700 not seven hundreds and we say 30 instead of three tens and finally we do not say or write and in whole number such as 730 and 9 let us now look at the following numbers and try to read and write them in words for our first number we put each digit in its place value. Then, we separate group of numbers using commas. So, starting from the left, we have 60 in the thousands group. 
So we can write it as 60,000. 55 is in the units group. But we do not say its value after the number. So we can simply write it as 55. Put this together, we can read and write the number as 60,055. Let's move on to the second number. We put each digit in its place value, then we separate group of numbers using commas. So, starting from the left, we have 78 on the thousands group. We can write it as 78,936 is in the units group. You can simply write it as 936. Put this together so we can read and write the number as 78,936. Let's move on to the third number. We put each digit in its place value, then we separate group of numbers using commas. So, starting from the left, we have 100 on the thousands group and 0 on the units group. So, we can read and write it as simple as 100,000. Let's have another example by reading the problem. There are 75,203 voters in the municipality of Calamba City. Do you know how to write 75,203 in symbol? If you have mastered reading and writing numbers, you could easily write it as 75,203. But if you're a beginner, you can use the steps in reading and writing numbers. First step is to put each digit to its place value. In this example, we have 75 in the thousands group. So, we can write 7 in the ten thousands place and 5 in the thousands place. Then, we have 203 in the units group. So, we can write 2 in the hundreds place, 0 in the tens place, and 3 in the ones place. So, we can write this number in symbol as 75,203 or it can be read as 75,000. 203. Now, get a pen and paper. In one minute, I want you to answer the exercises on the next slides. Ready? Your timer starts now. Let's check your work. So write this number in words. We can simply write 34,546. Did you get the correct answer? Good job! Let's move on to writing this number to symbol. 50,009.
To write this number in symbol, we can simply write 50,009 or we can read it as 50,009. Did you get the correct answer? Superb! Yay! Take note that to read and write numbers up to 100,000 in symbols and in words, you need to follow certain steps. Step 1. Put each digit to its place value. Step 2. Separate three digits from right to left using a comma. Step 3. Write the number starting from the left. Remember to read and write each group by three digits. Now, to check your mastery in five minutes, I want you to answer the given exercises on the next slide. Ready? Your timer starts now.
let's check your work. Number 1. 26,713 is written as 26,713 in symbol. Number 2. 12,256 is written as 12,256 in symbol. Number 3. 30,008 is written as 30,008 in symbol. Number 4. 37,756 is written as 37,456 in words. Number 5. 57,894 is written as 57,894. Did you get a perfect score? Excellent! That's all for today. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, Ang mahirap na math problems ay kaya nating padaliin. See you on our next lesson. Bye-bye!